welcome to Mystic Challenge, the show that asks the big questions like who, what, where, when and why and wraps them up in a paranormal package. The real question though is how much will today's Mystic Masters be able to reveal about our mystery guests using only their spooky skills? Well, taking up today's challenge are tarot card readers in Baal and Chris Forster. At the moment, they can't hear anything and as the door shuts on my Mystic booth, they're also unable to see anything. And here to ensure fair play and of course, judge the accuracy of our mystics is our jury of 12 led by their foreman mirror columnist the gorgeous sue carroll hello sue Hi. so do you believe in the paranormal in the mystic i'm a bit skeptic but i'm warming to it definitely really nice yeah. and hot in here then very and are we abiding by the rules so far oh absolutely it's uh you know incredible the protection and the security around these uh, guests I i'm I'm quite surprised by it and no, there's not a chance of cheating so we're leaving no clues dropping no hints and now it's time for us to hear from our very first mystery guest hi i'm tony arthur and i used to be a presenter on play school and play away and nowadays i'm very serious i train people in how to write scripts for conferences and personal development for people who have badly stressed lives had a lovely, lovely childhood. Parents sort of very working class, dead ordinary. Everything was ordinary. At the age of nine, I won a scholarship to the Royal Academy of Music. I even gave a concert at nine at the Wigmore Hall. At 1959, I went to University College Hospital to become a nurse. And then I went on to start a degree in psychology at UCL. In 1964, I met Dave Arthur and decided that we'd become folk singers. We made three records and we traveled all over the world. A BBC producer came up to me in a folk club and said, would you like to try for a programme called Play School? And I got the job, even though I was wearing an incredibly short skirt. I married Dave Arthur, and that lasted for 30 years. And then I thought life was over. That was it, finished, never, men, no. And then met my lovely husband now. He's called Malcolm Hay, and we've been married for 10 years. I smoked for 35 years and gave up two and a half years ago. I miss it like anything. And I've got long sight. And other than that, I'm as strong as an ox. I started reading about Buddhism and found that that philosophy of knowing yourself before you know others suited me and I have been a Buddhist ever since. I want to live in Greece and I want to learn how to speak Greek overnight and I want to learn to paint. So I just want to do lots and lots of things. Well, that fascinating mystery guest is safely tucked away, so it's time to put our Mystic Masters to the test. Remember, only our jury, and you at home, of course, know the identity of the person in question. And our first challenger today is tarot card reader in Baal. Now, the only information in Baal had to work with was a set of cards chosen earlier today by our heavily disguised mystery guest. Not one word was spoken. So please welcome in Baal. Hello, and take a seat there for us in bar. Now we're going to give you 90 seconds to give us as much information as you can. What areas do you want to focus on? About her career, relationships and health. Career, relationships and health in one and a half minutes. Good luck, your time starts now. Thank you. Uh, first I have to say she's not very happy at the moment. She keeps feeling like everybody's against her. She enjoys travelling short distances, maybe on horseback, and enjoys mild sports like tennis and walking. She also enjoys classic events like archery and fencing. Sometimes she disconnects the phone when she's at home so she can relax. Um, she's been a receptionist sometime in the past. There's something about high ranks in prison or law, the police, that have something to do with her. But she decided to close it behind her because it didn't pay enough and it took a lot out of her. There is also friction with other people at the time which upset her because she's really a very nice person. She's working now on her own at home. She's writing. She's working on something that will only come to fruition in a couple of years. She is very talented at what she does and she gets better and better at writing. She likes to give presents. She is in a relationship at the moment, but she's not married. She has three children and two sisters. She has had difficult time in relationships. Age six, she was very happy to start school. At ages 10 and 13, there might have been house moves. Age 11, she experienced her first heartbreak. And age 17, she wasn't very sure of herself. She felt like two people in one skin. 
She's very healthy at the moment. If she bumped into a lion in the street, I feel really sorry for the lion. She gets um, heartburn and digestion sometimes. She has had weight management problems. She's had rheumatic problems and some breathing problems. And her own birth, when she was born, that might have been very difficult. Well, your time is up. Well done. In Bao, okay. in 90 seconds exactly. And in Bao's cosmic challenger today is fellow tarot card reader Chris Forster. Now, once again, the only information Chris had to work with was a set of cards chosen by our mystery guest who was in a heavy disguise and five minutes spent gazing into his crystal ball. He has not spoken to our guest, so please welcome Chris Forster. <laughs> Very dapper. Chris, take a seat. Once again, we're going to give you 90 seconds to give us as much information as you can cram into a minute and a half about the mystery guest. What areas do you want to focus on? I'd like to look at childhood, career and relationships. Childhood, career and relationships in 90 seconds. Off you go. OK, I feel she had a thrifty childhood where she was forced to take on adult duties while still a child. And there's some disaster around a little boy and a little girl who have to part. A family connection with the northeast coastline, England to Scotland. In Korea, this person writes and reports. They've seen war and the memory stays. They've been to the Middle East. Legal issues have caused problems with both work and money. Some of their career was spent nursing, maybe the partner. They work now because they have to, and career stress has put lots of pressure on relationships. But now they have lots of choices before them, and their determination will get them through. In relationships, I feel that it's something like they married someone, split from them, and are now back with them. It's something like that. But there's a distance between the father and the children. The children have caused problems, and now they've made a home here from abroad, and it's financial and problems with children that brought them to the UK. At some point, I feel there was a marriage for financial reasons and personal advancement. Just a few other points. I feel their Capricornian temperament and stubbornness gets them through all sorts of problems. Suffering from glandular problems, throat problems, a link with Ireland, living somewhere near water. The number 49 comes in. I've got the name Marjorie meaning something important, as do vineyards in France and Spain. And somebody close to them or themselves have a link with magic circle and conjuring. And the crystal ball reveals a man in Arab clothing. Food for thought there. Well done, Chris. And now it's time for both our mystic masters to meet our first mystery guest. Please welcome former children's presenter turned businesswoman, Tony Arthur. Hello. Tony, and what Hello. a lovely jacket, Tony. Thank you very Take much. Take a seat. Now, they had a couple of, um, a couple of vague <laughs> similarities. It was only really about your varied career. It's been so true. varied. I, I, you know, I'm really a hard person to guess. You don't need um, to apologise. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's start with some of the individual quirks and maybe peculiarities or yeah. things from the past. Imbal picked out. She talked about classic events like archery and fencing. Actually, the archery was amazing. I actually was the ladies' the longbow archery champion in 1990-something. And I, I've never told... I've just forgotten about it until I you said I saw it and I was so scared to say it because it's so far off. Oh, hell, <laughs> I, I did it for a little while and not many people do it, you know? OK, exactly, do you, that's do you, ever, do you ever hide from the world by disconnecting the phone so you can concentrate? Yes. Right. Absolutely. Now, what's this about maybe dealing with high-ranking police officers? Is that to do with your corporate work? Actually, I thought, when I first heard you say that, that was wrong, but I actually trained the police force at Hartney Whitney in their university there to try and stop saying I was proceeding in a northerly direction in a BBQ. <laughs> and um, I obviously didn't do too good a job, but I did do it. Now, when you started school, were you around six? Were you happy at the age of six? I've always been happy. That, I have always been really happy. Now, um, you, you look fine to me, yes. but we know you've given up smoking. Have you experienced yeah. any weight problems recently? Look, please, uh, yes, <laughs> yes. Fine. You know, two stones since I've given up smoking, but I am so well. Now, I know it's a long... Well, not me. that long yeah. ago, but you probably can't remember. Was your own birth difficult, do you know? Apparently terribly difficult, because I should have been born Christmas Day, was, I should have been born Boxing Day. My mother was in 38 hours of labour and told me about it every minute of her life. <laughs> and as we know, you do also work at home, as in Bar. So let's turn now to Chris. Yeah. Um, he talked about a kind of thrifty child who maybe not a lot of money around. Was that true? Wasn't a lot of money, yeah. OK, not now, was there some kind of disaster around a little boy or girl involving some kind of separation? In fact, actually, what happened, I was evacuated. I know I look far too young. I was evacuated and my best friend, little boy, didn't go to Yorkshire with me and he was killed. 
Oh dear. So that was pretty good. Now, I'm pretty sure you didn't marry for money, as Chris thought. No, I didn't. But um, does the age or the number 49 mean anything to you? It actually, I can't make 49. Really, it means absolutely nothing. Could be the Irish lottery coming for you. Yes, <laughs> oh, we'll ask yeah. you in 10 years' time when you are 49. Yes, oh, oh um, okay, God, now, I love you. <laughs> the magic circle and conjuring. Now, the magic circle is right. I have actually investigated into witchcraft and different religions. Not conjuring, but in fact the magic circle of the other kind, spot on. Right, well done. Thank you very much, Tony. And well done to Imbal and Chris. Thank you. Let's go through the round window for a verdict from Sue Carroll and the jury. What do you reckon? Well, it was a very, very close run thing, and Chris was really spot on with the uh, childhood, especially Tony's friend who was killed, and Capricorn. I thought that was amazing. But I think, you know, firing in the right direction with her archery was imbal. It was extraordinary. Um, and disconnecting the phone and the police force. So that was what the jury felt. Close, but it's commiserations to Chris and well done to Inbal. Well done, Inbal. <laughs> big thanks, of course, to the lovely Tony Arthur. Thank you for sharing your time with us and your past story with us, Tony. Thank you. Good luck for the future. And hey, talking of the future, if you'd like more information on Mystic Challenge, why not visit our website? Details on the screen now, but don't do it right this minute because we're going to be back before you know it with two more Mystics and another celebrity guest. Catch you later. <laughs> Thank you, mate.